folks in the house. How's everybody doing? I have to turn that off because uh, my last video, I got my first uh, copyright claim on uh, my last YouTube video. Out of all my videos, that was my first one. So I was like, hey, I finally did something uh, with YouTube. Um, so I all of a sudden I get this uh, copyright claim. I'm like, what the heck? So if views happen on that video and any like money comes out of it, yeah, whoever the copyright claim gets it, and like whatever, it's like I don't, <laughs> I just got a kick out of it. So, um, I am gonna be doing a couple videos because I am so behind on vi uh, movies talk. Uh, so probably gonna get some back to backs or a couple days instead of my five to six day window that I try to put out there. Um. I don't want to do too many movies at a time, so we're going to try to do it. And going to try to, uh, Derek uh, kind of made a comment about uh, mentioning, you know, some deals or something, snacks and stuff. So I'm maybe going to see if I could do that. But uh, something I already mentioned, but this is what I'm, I am drinking Summit Cola. And only reason I'm doing this is prices are starting to get out there. I mean, it's crazy. Um, the Summit Cola, uh, Aldi's has it, but uh, it's under a buck for a two liter bottle right now. Uh, who knows what it'll be, you know, six months from now. Um, but if you're looking for something, uh, it kind of, for me, there's a RC Cola taste in it with a, I, I have it as a mix of Coca-Cola and RC um, is what I kind of have it as. But if you're looking for something to mix like a whis whiskey Coke, rum and Coke, I think it would work. So if you're looking just to cut back on some cost, I'm uh, going to throw that out there. The um, reason I'm saying this is I've taken my folks out uh, last Friday, uh, took them out, and menu prices did uh, surprise me a little bit. I went to one of the family restaurants, and uh, definitely uh, some prices were like 2 to $3 more um, on the menu. And it was like almost across the board, where it was like something that was... $10 is now $13, and so, <clears throat> yeah, prices are coming, people, and uh, just going to try to see if I could do something to, uh, you know, show uh, cost savings and, you know, be generic, and if it's kind of good um, and worthwhile, like I say, the Clancy Chips uh, products, uh, if you do shop at Aldi, um, compared to, like, Frito-Lay, they're just, I mean, to probably, you know, everybody's going to be a Frito-Lay kind of person, but uh, if you're looking to save some money, just going to mention it, and uh, I'll get some other things out, uh, possibly in regards to that kind of stuff going forward. Um, so I hope everybody's having a good time. Uh, kind of cold here. Uh, tried to get our first snow a little bit uh, today. <coughs> um, nothing accumulated, but uh, yeah, um, season is coming, and uh Get ready for it, people. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody that does uh, view my YouTube videos. And um, here's to everybody drinking my Summit Cola. <sighs> yeah, I get to a point of age that cola is like cola. <laughs> Kids don't think that way. It's like, yeah, I want my Pepsi or Coca Cola. So I got four movies uh, for movie talk. And a uh, little mix of everything, but uh, like I said, I, I don't want to, I've noticed I did in the past kind of throw in a bunch of movies, and I'm going to try to cut it to maybe five at most, but uh, like I say, I am, I got a good, with DVDs and uh, streaming, I think I got a good 25, 30 movies that I got to get on, or else it just gets to a point where you start forgetting what the hell you watched, or, you know, the points of the movie. Uh, starting off with a comedy uh, from 1995, Major Pain, uh, Damon Wayans um, is in this. Uh, basically, a Marine gets kicked out, discharged, and needs a job, so he ends up going to a prep school that has a m military class, and uh, he takes over and uh, more or less tries to get him getting in, in shape is what it comes out down to, a bunch of misfits, and... Uh, it's a decent comedy if you're looking for something. Uh, next one, I'm going to go with Rising Hawk. Uh, I think this was made in Ukraine, I think, if I remember right. 
2019. Uh, Poppy Drayton um, is in this, and uh, it's dealing with the 13th century. A village has to deal with. Excuse me. Apologize on that. Um, Mongol invaders and uh, decent movie. It's a surprise movie. I think. I think if anybody watches that one, uh, you'd be surprised that uh, it, that it it does have a good storyline and uh, it holds its own. Uh, again, Rising Hawk. I guess I'll go with that as my surprise movie. Um, next one, I got my Kung Fu Theater, and I'm just gonna say Kung Fu Theater, 1977. Rebel Shaolin, Chi Yan is in this, and again, if you're looking, you have to be in from that era for Kung, Kung Fu Theater. Um, just sit back and just watch, you know, choreography, you know, some of the fight scenes are decent, and some are cheesy, but it's just, again, you have to be that person. And um, if anything, anybody that does not do the Kung Fu Theater, if anybody decides to dabble in it just to see what it's like, you know, make a comment, have no problem. Uh, <laughs> again, something, if you're looking just something different, I'll, I'll throw out Kung Fu Theater. Uh, the movies from the 70s are just, again, um, the lip syncing of uh, if it's dubbed, it's, it's kind of hilarious that they're like a sentence behind or something like that sometimes, and uh, you get a kick out of it. Uh, last movie is uh, Humanity uh, Bureau with Nicolas Cage and Sarah Lind. Um, this movie was 2017. Um, basically, cl climate change occurring in the Midwest, changing it to a de desert. And the government basically assigns an uh, agency that if you're not uh, able to do anything, you kind of get kicked to the curb. Um, and so uh, that's the premise of the story. Um, I'm one that tries not to go too in depth with a movie because it's like you you watch sometimes, and it's with the trailers that I put out. I almost feel like I don't want to, but I, there's some trailers. If you watch them, they, there's trailers out there that basically will cover the whole damn movie in three minutes or two minutes, where and they show it in order, um, which. I like where trailers get mixed up a little bit because then you're not. But I've seen a trailer. It's like they give you the beginning, the middle, and the end, and it's like okay, just. And then you watch the movie, and it's like I got to watch the trailer, kind of. Give me about five more minutes. I would have been good to go. So that's that. Um, caught up on movie. Well, no, I'm not caught up, but uh, just trying to get going on it. Uh, what else is going on? Oh yeah. Um, I did buy some uh, uh, spice cookies from uh, Aldi, and it's like two pounds of cookies for, shoot, I wrote, uh, I know, I think it's under three bucks. So I've been, I ended up giving them like half the bag to my parents because it's like, I still have some left and I'm kind of getting, <laughs> I've had my share of spice cookies. So that uh, is out there. Uh, I kind of like a good coffee um, cookie. If, again, I think if you're not used to spice cookies, you can kind of get a little tired of them. Um, and I haven't had those in a long time. So it was, it was a good treat, but I kind of garbage down on them a little bit. And so that is that. So I'm kinda, I wish I would have known the price. I'll try to remember the price and give it to you uh, next video. Um, kind of going to see if I can do a video tomorrow, but... Again, uh, thanks everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, I am reading again. Uh, that's something I maybe bring up are some of the books that I've uh, finally read. I, I did have a book that was kind of like an easy read and flew through it pretty good during my uh, laundry uh, time is when I do my reading. So, all right. And I'm kind of making this video longer than it should. So thanks and have a good one.